it is time to retire the box jump. Yes, you think it's making you more explosive. Yes, you think it's super athletic. Yes, it is in every CrossFit class and every group fitness class you have ever taken. But no, it is not worth your time because it's not doing what you think it's gonna do. And it's not really gonna get you the results that you think it will. We've got better moves for you, so get rid of the box jump. So the main thing that people don't understand is when it comes to plyometric exercises, anything that's explosive from the lower body perspective, the general recommendation is that you'd be able to squat 1.5 times body weight with a squat before going into something explosive because of the amount of power, stress, and demand that comes from that. And most people don't have that prior to going into jumps and landing, which is why we see a lot of issues arise when it comes specifically with box jumps. One of the issues I see within the fitness community is it's given out as an exercise that beginners can do because you think it's simple, because you think you're jumping on something, but it's definitely not a beginner exercise. And I guess that's our first reason why you shouldn't be doing it. The other thing is, what are you even trying to do? I think people don't really understand the goal that they're trying to get out of the box jump and finding the most appropriate move to get to that goal. If you want to enhance your vertical for say basketball, jumping up is going to be the best way to do things and creating upward energy. What happens with the box jump very often is instead of creating all this upward energy with a true jump, you get people landing on the box and all they've done is really bend at the hips as much as possible. So what are you trying to train here? If you're trying to train hip flexion, then sure, the box jump is a good choice. I don't know a lot of people who really want to do that. Most people think NFL combine. Yeah. NBA combine and they're trying to get their vertical as high as possible and to your point one of the key things is jumping up is not the same as a box jump box jumps are vertical ish because you have to transfer yourself forward in a horizontal plane just a little bit which brings us to the third issue with box jumps which is mainly that it's used as a metabolic finisher a lot of the times it's a very metabolic and power driven exercise which means it needs a lot of cognitive drive in order to make sure that you're able to accommodate the amount of key differences in that movement and when it's used as a finisher at the end of your exercises to do some energy system development, you're putting someone in a very risky position to have to challenge themselves over and over and over again, where the potential to fall and land improperly and hurt yourself is very high. Yeah, that's probably the biggest thing, right? It's just the injury risk is not worth the trouble. If you're trying to become a better athlete and train your vertical and get more explosive for sports, then there are better alternatives than the box jump. We entered with, we wanna teach you how to land, and that's a really, really paramount thing we've got to understand. And so you have the box drop, right? Correct, and the box drop, what's gonna do is gonna bring you from an elevated height, and you're gonna step off of it in a controlled manner and learn how to land properly, with the feet in the right position, absorb the force going down, because if you wanna be able to jump, you have to earn the right to jump, which means you know how to land first. So we're gonna get you into that box situation where you can drop off from different heights, giving yourself a better opportunity when it comes to the jump. Yeah, I think the coolest thing with the box drop too, and the coolest thing with really exploring the art of landing is you get to think about little things. Think about pushing your butt back. Think about opening your knees so that you protect your knees. And you get to think about all these things, repeat for a couple reps, and learn the art of deceleration before we learn to accelerate and go upwards, which is what we do on our second move, the tuck jump. So now we're just working on elevating as high as we can and all of our energy is going straight up. Yes, you're gonna bend at the hips, but we're focusing on going straight upwards. This is gonna help enhance directly if you are trying to play with those NFL combine ideas and you wanna enhance your vertical and see how high you can jump. Well, now you're literally jumping upwards. You're gonna do a couple reps of that and that's gonna help train that explosive response. And what the tuck jump does is you have to drive those knees high to get in the position that you would get with a box jump. But the beautiful thing about it is you can then extend your legs back down and you have more time before the landing. The issue with the box jump is you have to tuck your feet up and then you're landing so abruptly in that fully compressed position really. And what happens with the tuck jump is you're allowed to get your legs back out, land on the ground, and still get the same mechanism of driving those knees up that you want to. Exactly, and, and as you said before, with the box jump, when you're going up, we've got directional forces going two ways. We're going up and we're going forward. With the tuck jump, we're focused strictly on going up, so it's a really great translation move. And if we want something that feels very, very at home in the gym, because I understand box jumps are a very familiar move in a lot of gyms, there's an alternative for that too. And the trap bar jump is gonna be that alternative. The trap bar jump is a great way to load the vertical plane where you don't have to worry about getting your legs up. You don't have to worry about landing on something properly other than the ground. You can just strictly focus on the power output of getting off the ground and you can progressively load it in a very safe manner. 
I like too that it's training good jump mechanics because we start from that hinge position. It's essentially starting from the bottom of a deadlift and you get to explode upwards from that. And that's the fundamental way that we're supposed to jump. We're hinging back and then we're leaping upwards. So those are the ways you should replace the box jump. Get the box jump out of your routine. You're gonna feel stronger for it. You'll get more athletic for it. Come at us.